With flash flooding devastating the Rudoso and Rudoso Downs area, one of their big draws to town had to find a temporary home. Now we are getting a better picture of how much damage was done at the Rudoso Downs racetrack. News 13's Gabe Chavez spoke with the Downs manager on their recovery efforts as they aspire to bring racing back home. It's been dubbed the Kentucky Derby of quarter horse racing, and it's coming to Albuquerque, almost 200 miles away from its home in southeast New Mexico. You know, we were the head gate. Everything come to that racetrack. So we've got to get this fixed and do it rather quickly, and we will run in 25. Normally held at Rio Dozo Downs, the All-American Futurity changed venues because of the recent burn scar flooding severely damaging the track. We're working with the state and we're working with the county as well to decide how everything is going to be repaired. But where do crews start? General Manager Rick Boss says the damage was mostly sustained around the back stretch of the track and the jockey house, but it's still unclear just how much repairs will cost. Right now, their main concern is the river overflowing from more flash flooding, making the problem worse. You know, with working with everyone that we are, it's too soon to say uh, we have to make changes. We've never had three burn scars at one time ever in the history of Rio Doso. And if the ground is too wet come wintertime, it could further ruin the track. We have to meet uh, compaction rates and with freezing material, you can't do that. Not all operations have ceased at the downs, though. Horse sales are still going to take place. And that's one way the economy could still see a bump from tourism. You know, moving forward with the future, we're going to do everything we can to get back up and going, and we're going to race in Rio Doso in 25. Gabe Chavez, KRQE, News 13. Decisions on how repairs will be completed are expected to be finalized on Monday.